giving Neka the chance. She might sincerely love you. Huh? No, I won't. Because if I do, I will still break her heart. Ah! Perfect. Ah! Ah! Brother. Ah! Please, please, look at it! Look at it! Look at it! Ah! Ah! Be fast, be fast! Be fast! He's moving, he's moving, he's moving! Get something to tie my leg! Get something to tie my leg! Ah! Please, please! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! Yeah, 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 yeah! Tie here, tie here! Just wait, eh? I'm coming. Wait, eh? Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Father, I grew up to be informed about this royal coffee. Ever since then, I stick to the room. Last night, I was thinking, why am I so conscious not to break the room and not to work with Father's for? So, Father, can you ignore that thought as stick to the rule of the royal coffee? No, Father. I can't. I'm becoming more disturbed. I deserve to know. Don't I? Of course, you deserve to know. I will surely tell you at the right time. Father, I am the crown prince and heir apparent to the throne of our kingdom. You still think I'm not going to write my to call me, but I deserve to know. You're right. Let it come, please. Yes. As I told you, I will tell you on the right time. And that is when you have gone through the initiation. Remember, you are just 20 years old. Father, uh, I'm coming to soon work. I may not maintain my crew for too long. You have no choice here, my son. Just have to wait. Keep right here. Destiny, oh destiny, destiny. I can't continue to be wild. Destiny, destiny can never be changed. Destiny. What is it? What is Pochu? Hey, Zemo, my brother was bitten by a poisonous snake. Mm. Please help me, Zemo. I do not want him to die, please. Mm. <laughs> Omo, where's Ogilega? Your brother will not die. Where is he now? Hey, Zemo, we were on our way to the farm mm. when he was bitten by the snake. Wait for me. Hey, Zemo, please be fast. Please, hey, Zemo. I do not want him to die. <laughs> that I am the last born does not change the fact that I am a man. Father, why not do the needful instead of postponing your duties? It is your obligation to educate me on the tradition and culture of our people so as to make a good king after your reign. And I have not failed in that responsibility, have I? Not until now, Father. Tomorrow is a mystery. You may not have a chance to say. Should that be the case, Father, I will be forced to leave the room. I know nothing about the introduction. You wish your father dead? Father dead still may be devil. As long as we live on this earth, we must plan for the unknown. No one, no one knows his last day on earth. Sorry. I will be having this yeah, in the Let's discuss this. Destiny can never be changed out. Destiny Somebody must fall for somebody to rise out. Destiny Ah 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 You say it's neck? Yes, mm. Yes. 
All right. This is going to be painful. Ah! 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 Visit me in my house in the evening. I will give you some mission helps. I will aid you quick recovery. Mm. Omo, where's Ogilega? Thank you, sir. Mm. Brother, you are fine. I feel better. I feel better. What is it? Responsible, should I break the royal coffee rules? No. No, son, you will do no such thing. No. You cannot bring calamity upon this land. You are destined to rule the future. Mother, what calamity are you talking about? Well, I've said enough already. If there is more to say, I think your father is in a better position to say. That is the problem, Mother. My father has failed to live to his responsibility. No, he hasn't. Listen, son, let me tell you a little story. Your father was so happy when you were born. He was happier when the news got to him that it was a boy. So if there's something you expect him to tell you and he's not telling you, that means it is not your time. Why don't you wait for the time? Oh, destiny, oh destiny. Destiny can never be changed. Oh, stand up, you know? But you eat your food is hot and ready. <laughs> what about you? I'll be fine. Um, I'll eat much later. Let me just rush down to his mom's house to get the herbs. You know, he asked me to come and get the herbs for a quick recovery. Listen to me. You, you can do that later. Sit, let's eat together. That'll be fine. Let me just go and get the herbs first. Eh? I'll come back now. I'll join you to eat. Eh? Well, I insist. I want to see it so you can have enough strength. Destiny can never be changed. Oh. Destiny, oh destiny. Yeah. I can't like hmm. it. Well, is nice, eh? You it? Yes. <laughs> you know, in school, I don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> My mouth is bitter. I'm not tasting anything. Well, that is why I said, let me quickly wash down to get the house. Yeah? yeah? If I solo see me when I am the will of the gods must be done no matter what. I destiny can never be changed. I greet you all. Your Highness, may you live long. Your Highness, there is something troubling my mind for so long. 
and I have decided to bring it to the cabinet today. What? Your Highness, we are lacking behind in terms of development compared to neighboring kingdoms. Your Highness, we do not have good roads, no daily markets. Our school blocks are weak and the roofs are leaking. Exactly. Your Highness, my frustration is we seem to be doing nothing. The current developments in our neighboring kingdoms, places like North Asia, Ajali, Ofom, Isuchi, Umunze, and other neighboring communities should be a wake-up call for all of us. We can't even boast of electricity with all our population. Igwe, ask what neighbor you become now. Watch. I heard all you have said, um, and I promise you all that I'm going to look into it. Ah, Igwe, look into it again. This is not the first time this matter has been brought to the cabinet. The last time it came, you gave us the same response. Till date, nothing has happened. It changed, Jeff. Mm. Are you in any way causing the evil or accusing him of failing his duties? Are you the Igwe or no? Let the Igwe speak for himself. It changed, Jeff. He has a point. Oh no, are you the Igwe? But no, are you the Igwe? Oh no, 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 are you the Igwe? It's okay. We're not here to quarrel among ourselves. What you said is correct. I mean, we are lacking behind in development. But if you can remember, two years ago I met the governor and I presented this issue to him. He promised he was going to do something about it. And up to now, nothing has been done. I am going to meet the governor in a couple of days' time. I will still remind him of this same thing. So please, DJ, bear with me and give me time to speak with the governor. Igwe. Igwe. One Hey! Hmm. What if I know to know can hear our kingdom? There is nothing else. Peace. So I decided to come to the shrine. What was I saying? Yeah. Mm, you did well, my son. You did well. I have the liquid with me here. You 
have been staring at me. Who for this way? Hmm. Hey! Hmm. All is well, my son. All is well. In you, I saw what our kingdom lacks. In you lies the future of this kingdom. Hey! Hmm. My son, I'm in holy But when the time comes, we shall know. When the time comes, we will be able to be That is why we have come to seek answers from the gods. I can no buy Joso. I buy a jeb. No. Hmm. What do you call it? Intend them more. Send them more. Bye. Of one of them. Hmm. Hmm. If you don't want to make a name, eh? Of course, you don't. You don't want to do Hmm. Ma Jonova. When you go along for a go see a joke. Hmm. 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 Our kingdom has been experiencing backwardness for decades. The manhood behind the anus. As a more, you are confusing us the more. Stop speaking in red words. Break it down for us so that we can understand you. There is more to these statements than the way they sound. Make us understand what is going on. If it is you can see. It is resting on the wrong abode. Until it is retrieved. Our kingdom shall never experience progress. Hey! You are confusing us the more. <clears throat> the royal coffee. The royal coffee? What happened to the royal coffee? The royal coffee? There is more. This, I'm good 
If you are going to know no, no, no. We have to go. The Royal Coffee was originated by Igbo and Yankwari the first. He was the one that brought the throne to this family. And he is the first king of our kingdom. I, I, I am not ignorant of that, uh, you see. But uh, my confusion is the mystery surrounding the royal coffee. Uh, is it more told the elders that there is more to it than anyone can tell? Mm, and that also remains a mystery to me. As far as I can remember, the royal coffee kick started the day when Yepore was crowned the king of those kingdom. According to him, the instruction was from the gods. And he warned seriously that under no circumstances shall any royal blood in generations go against the roots. He said that a serious penalty awaits whosoever does. Father, tell me, does this have anything 
Now, did you notice that everything stalled ever since the day Okosisi became the king? I don't think so. Our kingdom has been experiencing backwardness before he was crowned the king. Then what could be the problem? A question no one has been able to answer to. Not even the gods. We have not asked them yet. I think we we'll have to do that now. No, let's give the king some time to see if he can fix it anytime soon. Well, if you say so. Yes. How are you doing, Nick? I'm fine. Where is Iwane? He's gone back to school for his final year, sir. Oh, sorry, I forgot. He told me. Anyway, I came to see if there is anything I could assist you with. There is nothing. How can you say nothing when there is a lot to do? Why don't you find something to do with your time? Instead of coming here all the time seeking for what to do for me. Also, Nick, why are you talking like this? Eh? You know I love you. I always come around to help you with house chores because I want to be around you always. For the reverse is the case here. Don't get me wrong. I do not hate you. But I can't date you. At least not now. Okay. I will wait till you're ready. You do not have to wait. Neka, you do not have to wait. Find something to do that you will engage yourself with. Get yourself busy. If you do, I believe it will help you stop thinking about me all the time. Get your mind occupied. And I don't mind if the devil's workshop, you know. I know. And I've tried. I can't get it off my mind. Hmm? I promise you, you can. Try harder. I have to go back to what I was doing. How am I feeling rejected? sister is really getting on my nerves. She she does not want to conform with the rules. She says she will beg. Mother, I'll have to go inside and talk to her. I'll talk to her then. You had better do that. Somebody must fall for somebody to rise up. Destiny. 
Temerity to call me by my name, Memero. A whole me. The chief guard of this entire palace. <laughs> You're not scared. Emero, you have as well been insulting my position in this palace. I'm the head maid in here. Have you forgotten? Gene. Apu Fandeazu. They they can't fish, crayfish, they come out. Hey. Eh? No, you are the head maiden and so. What is the time? How is that my business? Why did you ask him not to open the gate? Oh, 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 oh. You haven't heard about the royal coffee. <laughs> it is coffee time. No one leaves, no one enters. Do you understand? Even the king of this kingdom is now in his upper echelon, relaxing, and you want to go out as what? Head maiden. My friend, if you open that gate, I will deal with you. Lock that gate. But I'm not a royal blood now. I've been living and returning to this palace even by seven. Why today different? Yes, good question. Today is different because those days are your Christmas day. And as you know, every day cannot be Christmas. Today, I, Emeroa, the chief guard of this entire territory, this palace, this kingdom, in fact, says you are going nowhere. My friend, you are going absolutely nowhere. Now I know why you are doing all this. Because I rejected you, right? Uh -huh. Let it be. Now you know. Uh, what can you do about it? I do not have your time. When I do, I will let you know. Yeah, open the gate. Mm -hmm. If you dare open that gate, if you try it, okay. if you open that gate, you get sacked. Why am I now? Oh, 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 oh. You don't know that the gate man is answerable to the chief guard of this palace. Yet you say you are the head maiden. Eh? I supersede every of you in this palace, including the Igwe, because I am his security guard, the chief security guard. Don't worry, I will deal with you. No. Come back and exchange words with me. Eho mi emerowa. Security guard, you buru buru. Es bo nyenche, ne chigwe, ne chelala, ne chekunga wa no wagi na ebu ari ke idiot. Come on, exchange word with me. Akpa binsi tolo tolo. My friend, come. Destiny can never be changed. Destiny. Somebody must fall for somebody to rise. Destiny. 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 <laughs> you have undergone the rituals of kings <laughs> and you have been found worthy by the gods to take over the stool after my reign. <laughs> yes, Father. I am super excited. In fact, words can't express how I feel. <laughs> you are the true son of your father. I cannot sleep peacefully without the thought of losing this traditional stool brought into this family by the great Oye Kweri, the first to another family. <laughs> exactly, Father. So, Father, yeah. can you now tell me all I deserve to know about the Royal Curfew? <sighs> there is nothing more to say, my son. I've told you everything as I was told by my late father.
congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mm. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Anything for you, my friend. <laughs> um, one more thing. You have to be dedicated to your job and take it very seriously. Hmm? I promise I won't disappoint you. <laughs> All right, anyway, um, you have been assigned as um, Princess Lizzie Personamid. So your duty is to follow her everywhere she goes and do whatever she asks you to that is right and legal before the tradition of our kingdom. I'm sure that won't be a difficult task. Good. So follow me so I can give you your uniform. Hmm? Thank you. <laughs> this way. My princess, even without seeing you, I cannot love you less. Do you know that I stare at your picture every night and day? As a matter of fact, I must confess that you are as beautiful the way you are in the picture. Wow. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're not looking bad, so... Oh, that's your own opinion. I have waited so long for this day. The day I will sit and discuss with the great princess of our kingdom. Can you stop extolling me? I am not extolling you, my flawless queen. I just know that I, I, I cannot hold the excitement. <laughs> You're a prince too and there is no big deal drinking with me. I know. Only few princesses possess your flawless quality. You are the dream of every man. Whoever that have you will be thankful to the gods. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you. Can you just stop praising me already? Thank you. No, you're welcome. <laughs> but the truth is that you are so, so, so beautiful. Uh, you're you. extremely dazzling beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. My friends, you have a lot of words in your mouth and I won't lie, it's catchy anyway. Yeah, but I am saying the truth. Ego, mm -hmm. why do you like talking about the prince every day? Why are you so curious about him? Hey, Amaka, did you just say curious? Eh? You and I know that the prince, our prince, is the dream man of every girl in this village. Ego, speak for yourself. Mm -hmm. Because no woman in this village made you their spokesperson. Ah, uh -uh. hmm. okay, oh, but that spokesperson, oh, oh, Lidao, I don't care. But you and I know that I am speaking the mind of every girl in this village. Hmm? Even you, sir. <laughs> hey, he is your dream man. Hmm? The prince is not the dream man of every maiden in this village. I can't beat you for that. Ah uh ah. -uh. Uh, whatever, please. Whatever. Mm. When I see the prince, eh, hey, that's in my action. Mm? I think I'm tired of this. Whatever. You better be. Mm. So that I can hear a word. Mm. Every day, prince, 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 prince. It's Abba. Mine. It is mine. Your Highness, yeah. I, I will be taking my leave. It's alright, it's alright. My regards to your father. No, he will hear. Okay, okay. Um, by the way, my daughter, Ada is it? I hope she was able to. Oh, okay. oh Ada is a, <laughs> She's a wonderful person. Oh, she's okay. fun to be with. Okay. Uh, as a matter of fact, Your Highness, I will still be coming tomorrow to see her. Oh, that's alright, that's alright. <laughs> Same journey back home. Thank you, Your Highness. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Very worried. 
worried about what? About your sister's insistence on going against the coffee rule. Huh? The, the, the whole thing is giving me sleepless nights. Worry not, mother. Everything has been taken care of by father. Really? She has confirmed? Not yet, but soon. Very soon. How are you sure? Don't worry, mom. Just watch. You will see for yourself. Don't be worried. I saw the excitement while sitting with him. Do you love him? But why wouldn't I love him? I mean, he's cute, he's smart, he's educated, he's tall and he's handsome. Is that all that matters to you? Oh my goodness, how are you even comfortable sitting? I mean, a man father chose for you. I doubt if I can adapt to such a situation. Planning to marry a man arranged for me in my absence. Hell no, I can't, I can't do that. Wake up from that dream, sweetheart. That is tradition. What stupid tradition is that? In this century? Lizzie, what's your problem? Why are you always against every part of our traditions? What's your problem? Because they are annoying. They are irritating. They are absurd. They limit human rights. They are awful. Jeez. Thank God I'm not the other because I would have gone against this one too. He's not even my kind of man. Look at how he looks. I don't even like him anyway. He's talking about that. Take a good look at yourself. Do you even think you're his kind of a woman? Did he say that? Mm -hmm. Oh, when you see him tomorrow, ask him that. Beautiful girl. How are you doing? I'm fine. Good afternoon. Fine afternoon. Uh, uh, it's like you're a newly employed maiden in this palace. Yes. Hi. Oh, my God, no. Hi, Makaji. This is the best decision Her Majesty have ever taken in her entire life. Uh, so, may I know your name? My name is Neka. Neka. Hi. It's Boa Fama Mama. Um, I'm Emerowa. Emerowa? Yes. Okay. The chief guard. The CEO, chairman in charge of all living and non-living things in this palace, including you and other maidens in this palace. Oh, really? The Igwe, his throne, his crown, and even the Lolo are under my care, security-wise. <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand now? Uh, yeah. Understand. So can I leave now? Leave to where? Is it because I like you and I'm talking to you, you want to leave? No. The chief guard is talking to you. And you, mm, Makachi, if you make any move here, just a word, you'll get sacked out of this palace. Don't try it. Is that... Keep the story to yourself. Just like the royal coffee, eh? as the CEO, the chief guard, in charge of all living and non-living things in this palace, I have also brought out my own rule called the royal testing royal testing yes uh, this is a process that all newly employed maiden in this palace go through do you understand uh, you have to visit my room and your performance in bed determines how long you stay in the palace uh, but nkiru never mentioned that to me <laughs> nkiru madokomo nkiru is just human she can't remember everything. Uh, I'm telling you now. So, Buli and Obi. Okay. Uh, can I leave now? Uh, uh, you can leave. Uh, uh, I told you to go. No problem. Hi. One more thing, sir. I'm going to Banana Island. I'm going to go to the show. I'm going to go to the show. I'm going to go to the show. Hi. I'm going to go to the show. You are welcome, my son. Thank you, Your Highness. So, how are your people? 
They are fine. Good. Um, if I may ask, what is your intention for my daughter? Well, if, uh, if you don't mind, Your Highness, I will want to take your daughter as a wife. Have you discussed that with her? Not yet, Your Highness. <laughs> so what are you waiting for? I do the needful. And I promise you, you have my support. I will do just that, Your Highness. <laughs> Shouting my name like a mad dog. I've been your papa Billy Daniel. See, I'm not here to stare at stupidity. What did you tell the newly employed me? The newly employed me? Yes. But Tim Kong can tell you we do that very easily. Oh, really? Okay, no problem. You hear from the point. Come on. What will you start to gain with the queen when you see your mouth? Eh? You know you stand the chance to gain absolutely nothing. So why are you trying to make this kind of way of doing it? No, you, you think so? Let me tell you, I will tend to gain peace of mind, happiness and joy. Oh, oh, oh. Sometimes, eh, you they behave like a man. Uh, let me tell you, sometimes, eh, they behave like those evil spirits when they walk out or when they find the one to yes. But I know you're not the one. You're not the one day. How will you tell me that you stand to gain peace, happiness, and what in again joy? If they're sad me for this my work. This is what I can see from too. So they fuck up. They fuck up. Because you are useless. Yes. <laughs> Be useless. Of course. <laughs> Same to you. Uh, oh, you, you still have math to talk. You still have math to talk. No problem. You hear from the point. You calm down. Ah, man. leave me alone. You, 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 I'm ready. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Your Highness, yeah. uh, we, we're about to leave. Uh, it's alright. Let's make sure you allow her to come back to the palace before 5 30 pm. I will do that, Your Highness. Father, you don't have to stress yourself about that. I already have that at the back of my mind. Before you know it, I'm back. That's my daughter. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> All right, have a nice Thank you, sir. Graduate, but I'm now a graduate as you wish. <laughs> I'm a graduate. <laughs> my brother, my brother. <laughs> I am so happy. Let yeah. me let me help you with the luggage. So that don't worry, I can carry them. No, I you must have been exhausted. Now give it to no, me. Yes. Uh -uh. Give it to me. Now I am a graduate as you wish. <laughs> my brother, brother, my brother. <laughs> hey. So how are you now? Even one my yeah. brother. Your mother told me you have refused to listen to her advice. And that you have threatened to break the rule of the royal coffee. My daughter, why? Because I know my fundamental human right. And freedom of movement isn't excluded. But it seems to be ignorant of your traditional position. This thing, my daughter, I am not asking you. I am telling you that you have to abide by the rule, either forcefully or peacefully. Father, I am not a slave. I know that, and I've not said you are one. But don't make me do otherwise, okay? Oh. Now leave my present. Leave my present now.
brother. Now that I'm a graduate, as you wish, I think it's time you start thinking of getting married. <laughs> you are here to go for service. Yes, I know. Not until you get a job and start taking good care of yourself, I am not getting married. No, brother. Do you think you're making the right decision? Because I know if Papa and Mama were to be alive, they would never Chacha be in support of you being single at this age. I think they will be very, very disappointed wherever they are now. No, listen to me. They are not disappointed. They are even excited because I'm living up to my responsibility, which is seeing you to succeed. Bro, go and have your bath. Let me go and warm the soup. But I want you to get married fast. Don't worry, I will get married. Let me go and warm this. Aha! I can see. Congratulations! <laughs> At least you've engaged your time and mind with something more meaningful. You may just find favor from there, you know. <laughs> You're right. But that still doesn't change how I feel about you. I know, but don't worry. Very soon you'll get over it. At least you've not seen me for a while now, but you'll be living your life. Unlike before, you used to frequent my house like a village stream. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think I'll stop loving you? I know you'll stop loving me soon. I doubt this opinion of yours. I just stated a fact, not an opinion. You see, people mistake infatuation for love. Don't worry. Very soon you get over this whole thing and you move on. You call my love in infatuation? Okay, let's see. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you insult father? Are you out of your mind? Have you gone nuts? Do you realize I'm your elder sister? Do you expect me to respect you when you cannot receive the man that brought you to this world? I can tell whatever you call it out because of you. Rather your senses of reasoning for letting it come in. This repeats itself again. You have to contend with what my dear, my elder sister. Are you, are you, are you, are you crazy? Son, right? Doesn't you have the right to insult me like that? Abi, I will deal with you. You are an idiot. Rubbish and stupid tradition. Neka, I do not hate you. Just that I have more important things to attend to. But I promise never to be a burden to you. It is better said than done. Let's just be friends. Platonic friends. It's okay. Not as if I have numerous options to choose from. No problem. Maybe before too long. I will give you reasons to love me just as I do. Till then. So, where are you going to? Going to see my parents. It's been long I saw them. Alright. See you some other time. Okay, bye. Bye. Out. Come on, open that gate! I said open that gate! Are you crazy? Uh, he's 
years old, Amorora said I shouldn't open the gate for anybody, be it anybody. He said I shouldn't open the gate at all. Who? Who is Amorora? It's me. Um, ever since you returned from overseas into this palace, you don't know who the chief security officer is? I mean, the chief guard. In charge of all wait, living wait, wait, and non living wait. things in this palace, including you. Do you the realize princess? you're speaking to the princess? Are you stupid? Huh? Are you crazy? Uh, sorry, I know I'm talking to the princess. Yeah, but I'm not stupid. You're an idiot. Seriously, you are mad. And I promise you, you won't last me now today in this palace. Mark my words. By the way, why did you tell him not to open the gate for me? Thank you, Mo. No verse. The order came from the highest authority. Down to the lower chamber. What's going on? The CSO. And over to the local chamber. The gate man. What are you saying? What are you saying? I'm sorry, man. I know you are used to BB grammar because you're a lawyer. Yeah, going overseas. Yeah, but let me use my indigenous language so that you can understand me better. All I'm trying to say is that uh, you your father. I, I can't take this. No, your father, the king, gave I the orders. He, yes, he gave it. To me, the, the CSO. You know, father did not just restrict you from leaving the palace because he wanted to. He did it because of your stubbornness. He's afraid you might break the rules as threatening should he allow you to leave this palace. He has no rights whatsoever to obstruct my movement because it is my right. Lazy, do not allow the Western education be cloud your sense of reasoning. It's our tradition. What stupid unhealthy tradition? The man you claimed has no right to restrict you from your movement. It's not just our father, but the supreme ruler of this kingdom. And so what? And so he deserves an apology for all the insults you melted on him yesterday! The lawyer you are today, he made you. No, 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 please don't use that word again, please. No one made me. I bought my midnight candles myself. I wrote exams by myself, okay? You wouldn't have had that privilege should he not paid for your fees and sponsored you through. The same candles you bought, he paid for it! Because it is his duty as my father to do that. He doesn't deserve a thank you for that. If I decide to say thank you, it is out of my generosity. Lizzie, what has come over you? You weren't like this before. You changed oh, automatically, please. immediately your foot stepped into this kingdom. I didn't change. I didn't change. I only learned to fight for my right. See, this whole fashion of a thing is pissing me off. Like, it's, it's really getting up to here. Seriously, I'm getting tired. What's all this? We have no choice. You have no choice, I have no choice. I'm living up to expectations. Why can't you live up to expectations? Is it too much to ask for? I've got choices. Okay? I have got choices because it is my life. And I choose the way I want to live it. To get used to it. Thank you. That reminds me. But, um, I forgot to tell you something two years ago. Two years ago? What is that? <sighs> Remember the day I went to visit Ezemo to collect the herbal medicine for your snake bite? Mm -hmm. He told me something very strange. Something strange? What was that? Ezemo said, I have a vital role to play in our kingdom. Is it more said that to you? Yes, it did. I wanted to tell you, but it skipped my mind until last night. Last night? Why last night? 
had a dream. And in that dream, a voice said to me, the time is not far from now. Lazy. I really don't know what's occupying your mind right now. But I think you have to revise your decision of dragging father to court. Why if I may ask? Because he's your father. Even when my freedom is under threat. He's afraid of granting you freedom because your freedom remains a threat. Not just to this palace, but the peace of the entire kingdom. Should you break the coffee rule, a serious calamity will befall the whole kingdom. How true is it? And how sure are you? Mm -hmm. After all, it has never been recorded in the past that anyone did. So what if all this is just a mere hallucination? Hello? Hmm? What about Neva? She has found something to do with her time and strength. So what is she doing now? She now works in the palace as a maid. Oh, I see. That is why I have not seen her since I returned. Now, brother, hmm? do you think uh, working in the palace is the best option for her at her age? At least it's better than nothing. However, I believe in something in life. Wherever you find yourself is for a reason. Who knows? She could be edging closer to greatness. You think so? Forget about her. It. Was all right. I believe the motion that Western education has done more harm than good in our society. And why do you say so? Princess Lizzie is one of the disadvantages of Western education. I mean, how can someone call the tradition of her land rubbish just because she schooled abroad? How can you attribute her stupidity to Western education? Because as much as I know, Western education has done more good in our society than harm. We have doctors, lawyers, and engineers who strongly believe in our tradition. Keep quiet. As much as I know, your uh, Western education. How will you know when you haven't acquired one? Um, Takara, you model. But since you think it, Cha Cha, my friend, keep quiet and let me educate you. When intellectuals like us are talking, you keep quiet and learn. Um, Guinea. Oh, Nkiru, a whole chief guard is talking to you and you're walking away. Chief guard. It's your Makebi Naga. Check a look here. It's a look at Nkiru Naga. Look at them. Birds of the same feather. Flocks together now. That is why you don't want to learn. Oh, Emero, I wish you knew my you, you, you knew my net worth. You, you should have come and be dusting my shoe every morning. That is the little problem I have with them. They don't want to learn. And they don't know. So um, where are you, get man? Come on, lock this.
Sorry for keeping you waiting. Um, I was taking my shower. <laughs> it's all right, Your Highness. You are here now. I did inform me you are coming. I hope all is well. Uh, all is well with my family. Is yours I'm worried about. Really? My attention has been drawn to Princess Lizzie's refusal to adhere to the coffee room. Yes, my brother. That has been my recent worry for now. Uh, is it not best if you fly her abroad? For how long is she going to stay there? I mean, <laughs> she can't afford her father's land for long. I just don't know what has come over Lizzie these days. I don't know. So, what are your plans? I'm only just reduced to one choice for now. That's not letting her out of the palace until I have a better solution. I think there's no other solution. So, th this is good. Yes. Let her remain there. No, that's mm. why it's not good to allow your children to stay abroad for too long. Uh, they, it's they, true. they tend to forget our tradition. It's true, but even when they are here, children are always children. They'll still behave like children that they are. Greetings, Ezemo. Hmm. Welcome, the messenger of the throne. Why are you here? His Royal Highness, uh. the man to see you now. So where is he now? He has gone to his usual electrical shop. Okay. Alright. I'm worried. You're worried? I'm worried about what? About him. Like, why is he not yet married? Not even in any serious relationship. He keeps scaring all the girls who come to school. I'm not too worried. But he said he doesn't want anybody to come here between us. That he will consider getting married when I stand as a man and be able to take care of myself, your body. Wow. What a caring boy. You can say that to me. Not a 
Yes. Because you see, he said again that his father, father passed it on to him, not the cops. So, what I say on this is that God has what to do with these rules. I have not said so. I am an upright man. I say things the way I see them. When the God speaks to me, I agree with it to them. When man speaks, I also give him the credit. Because you see, it is obvious that this rule has passed on to generations, but not God's. Hmm. My own judgment, I think. Destiny, oh destiny, destiny. I can't lack I'm jilly Destiny, destiny can never be changed. Destiny, it can only delay what must come to pass. Destiny, if only I have a quiet call, I have a destiny. If I solo see me be no ye me no Destiny The will of the gods must be done no matter what Destiny I, Destiny can never be changed out Destiny Somebody must fall for somebody to rise out Destiny I say I focus on so we better know Destiny if I tell it, then My king. My king. What is it? You look worried. Did the SMO come with bad news? That is an understatement. It visited with more confusion that has thrown me into a deep thought. Destiny, oh destiny. I can't like I'm Jilly Destiny can never be changed. You were saying I should sue your father for sure, right? Yes. How do you know what you're doing? He is your father and the king of this land. And how does that give him the right to do my freedom? And he had to lock me up in the palace. Does that even make sense? See, no problem. I was just giving you a friendly advice. I will do as I am Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Don't know matter what, I destiny can never be changed. Somebody must fall for somebody to rise up. Let's say I put so so we better know. If I tell it, then I take away no one long future no Destiny can never be changed. Oh. Destiny, oh destiny. What are you doing here? I can't let them kill you. It's not as if you don't want to be here or what I want. You shouldn't be here. What if we kill you or someone walks in and sees us? Thank you. I'm not going to come Why is no one scared of this in Kiyo? Eh? Have you forgotten my position in this palace? I am the chief security guard, the CSO, and the chairman in charge of all living and non-living things in this palace. Hey, Mewa, I don't you. want to lose my job. Go, go. Eh? I'm not to lose my job. Please go. You are losing your job. Hey. You know it's better for two now. Go ahead. Will you come to my room? Please go. Let me allow. Let me do my work. Will you come to my room? So 
you went ahead and sued father. To hide that your business, big sis. For crying out loud, is it? Who is sponsoring your stupidity? If you call fighting for my rights, stupidity, then I'm sorry, big sis, you need to go back to school. You're making a case because you're a lawyer with a man who made you become that. Whatever, I don't care. Anyhow you chose to put it, I don't care. I have no problem with it. Well, welcome to Nigeria. You think here is abroad? Let's watch and see and see who wins this case. Let's just watch. Princess, eh? Come on, a uh, head maiden, you are carrying shoulder. If you are not the queen or princess, uh, you kill somebody in this palace. I have a also. Or uh, me that is the CSO in charge of things and things in this palace. Now tell me, is my room a children that no one will come into? Oh, I see. You explain better to the queen. Thank you, please don't report to the I queen. Think... Have you seen what you've caused? Put him out. Yes. Hey! Calm down. Why are you scared? Calm down, bro. Seriously, so she is only jealous. Yes, because she is not the one in here. What the gunya and the new green light? Not on your off. On your name, not on your off. See, let me tell you. She goes and reports to the queen. We both the team up and lay against her. So calm down. After all, she will not cut me off of you. That's another useless girl. Is she out of her senses? Or does she think this is abroad? My dear, my major my fear dear. now is that she shouldn't just win that court case. You know she's a lawyer. If she wins that case, the whole kingdom is under threat. We are at risk. <laughs> Nobody is safe. Relax. There is no way this girl is going to win this case. This is our kingdom. What are you talking about? I beg, relax. But she's a lawyer and her father isn't. The whole kingdom is under threat. You I said it's not possible it. now. Relax. It's not possible. Okay. <laughs> I pray so. I pray so. My daughter. It came to my notice that you are planning to sue your father, the king of this kingdom, to court. Yes, uncle. Because my father is trying to hold me hostage in this palace. That is due to your stubbornness, my princess. I want you to withdraw that case immediately. Uncle, you should tell my father to grab my freedom. 
That's the only way I'm pulling down this case. If not, I am taking him to court and nothing will change it. Nothing. And even if you do, what makes you think you win him in court? Okay. My daughter, the royal coffee room was not made by your father. But he was also forced to live by it just like every other person in this royal palace. Is that what royalty is all about? No, my daughter. But that is what royal palace of our kingdom is subjected to. To your house. Coming to my house. To do what? Eh, Amaka, what is it? <sighs> All is well. I came to tell you that you have been chasing impossible dream. Dream that will never ever ever come to pass. Mm, Amaka, mm? do you always come to meet me with good news? Eh? What do you mean by impossible dream? I don't understand. How? Prince Namani. <sighs> My person, the man. What happened to him? Like, is, is he okay? All is well. The prince has chosen who belongs to his class. Oh, you see, all this time he has been coming to this village. It was not just an ordinary visit. He came to this village because of Adaize, whom he has chosen to marry. Maka, you are wicked. Where, where were you going to? The square. I'm going. Don't follow me. What did I do wrong? Ego! I just, I just came to tell you the next Welcome to our country. A country where some people are above the law. A country where the judiciary bends the law to seal some airlines. A country where power and authority are all that matters. I'm sorry for your loss, dear sister. I know by now you must be regretting your actions. Hmm? But it's never too late. You can still apologize. And I believe Father may, just maybe, will give you a listening ear. What do you think? Come on! Here is our country, not United States. Some things are not done here. You don't sue your father, my sister. Hmm? Learn from your mistakes. I never regret. What did she say to you? So you're equally afraid of losing your job? Ta! Afraid of who? As a matter of fact, nobody can even sack me in this palace. I'm not even the king. I am the chief guard of this palace and I, everyone in this palace are under me, security-wise. The water go? So now tell me, why are you curious to know what she said? Uh, nothing more to just for security purpose so that I will know how to deal with her. Liar! Liar! <laughs> uh, no problem. I'm a liar. I agree. So tell me, what did she say to you? Well, she said you're a womanizer. Chineke! Womagene! I'm not a womanizer. Mabulu kwa fokunaiza. Aka de man nka womanaiza. No 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 no. That's a very fat lie. A big one. Mbambu ase. I was only trying to know the kind of people they are to know if they are loose or not. What I gonna as the chief security. Hmm. Nye 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 nye. Chief to.
na nakuwa no feni tachagu nya na 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 It's so unclear to me how the princess abhors everything concerning our tradition. Did you know she sued her father because her father refused her breaking a law that has been existing since decades? That's civilization for you. The white men imposed their rubbish on us. Our children now see our tradition as rubbish and crazy while embracing that of the white man. I have this strange feeling. What strange feeling? The princess is not the only one that has traveled abroad. Do you know that? Yes, yes. And there is a travel too. Yes. So why is she different? I can't really tell. I have this feeling that there is more to her behavior than just the Western education. I have same feeling too. I am telling you honestly. Yes. Please, let's leave this on. No, my king. She still sees you as her father. No, my queen, no. There's nothing that you say now that will make me change my mind. Yes, I have made my decision and I will not go back on it. She will never leave this palace again for the rest of her life. No, 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 <laughs> your highness. This is so much. No. I have spoken. And it's final. I warned you, but you wouldn't listen. Now look at the mess you're putting yourself into. Have you run out of barristers to call? Maybe I could help you, just maybe. I could help you with some contact to call my dead learned sister. Please, 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 Adeze, please. I beg you in the name of God. If you have come here to blame me, use the door. I'm enough mess already. The mess you got yourself into. I warned you, just find a way to get out of it. Or maybe you can employ your education to help you, my dear learning barrister. But why is everyone even blaming me? What's, what's going on? Because I was fighting for my right? Only because I'm in this country? Really? You're fighting for your rights. Your rights, you say. Sweetheart, stop blaming your rights. This is our culture, our tradition. Get used to it. And stop blaming the country. It has nothing to do with this. But I am choking right now. I feel disgusted. I just want to go back. I am tired. Oh, just stop ranting. You are actually the one giving yourself the whole stress. I mean, I think, I think you just have to stop stressing our parents. Stop stressing yourself. You're bringing this whole thing to yourself. I don't know what your problem is. What's your problem? What do you even want? You're just selfish. It's all about you. Yes, this is our country. Unlike abroad, where children sue their parents. And it isn't forbidden in our country either. Just our judiciary system is corrupt. And I strongly believe the Igwe bribed the judge. Even if he did, it's for the benefit of our kingdom. <laughs> okay, let me ask you a question. Tell me, what if one day someone break the royal coffee room? Yeah, and it happens that there is no penalty attached as we all are meant to believe. Destiny, me a belly. If I give you, just eat it. Ah, uh -uh. I told you there is no way that girl is going to win that case. How is it possible? I'm very sorry for doubting you. You know, mm -hmm. to even think of the fact that that girl would have won this case. When I was feeling probably she 
Because she's a lawyer. <laughs> but thank God she didn't win. <laughs> and I don't even know what's ah. wrong with that girl. I mean, that girl that calls herself a princess. What kind of pompousness is that? Ha! Huh. Oh, too much. Whether she's a princess, she's not a princess. That's not the issue for now. The main thing now is that she shouldn't leave the palace. I mean, nobody should just let that girl out of that palace. If she does, my dear, I fear she would break the coffee rules. <laughs> as if I care. And as I can see, you are so concerned. And since you are, why don't huh? you carry your legs and go and tell the ego yourself? Go and tell it's not about being concerned though. It concerns both of us. You and who? Everybody in this community. You and who? I and you. Ah, uh, be there. We don't concern me for concern in this matter. I better, I better, I better come down, come. Tracy, I didn't invite you here to remind me with past mistakes. I only invited you here to help me get solution. I think there is a way for you here to use that card. Thank you for changing the situation. Are you serious? You know you're the only friend I have in this village that I can talk to. When you just start repeating this your words like that, eh? I just know a secret for you. So, what do you have to tell me? Do you believe the future holds something for me? Yeah, I don't understand. Why do you ask? The hand is holding my destiny. Don't even tell me you're still listening to all these end time pastors. Eh? No, not at all. Better. It always comes to my dreams. I see a hand holding my destiny, Munachi. But then I hear a voice saying, it can only be delayed or it shall come to pass. Since when did you start having this dream? Two years ago, after Izumo told me I have a vital role to play in our kingdom. Destiny, oh destiny. I can lock and chill if you are Destiny Destiny can never be changed My father said that uh, in a moon's time we will be coming to see your parents Oh my god! Are you serious? Very serious Oh my god! I really can't wait. I can't wait till that day comes Me too. I cannot wait for you to be my woman forever I know Melo why not go inside and change so that we can have a good time outside the palace? All right, no problem. Okay. Just a few minutes. It's all right. I'll be waiting in the TV. I'll be waiting my own. All right. <laughs> Ezra.
Greetings. Greetings, my friends. Greetings, beautiful ladies of my land. How are you? We are fine, fine, my friends. I can see. So, what are your names? Um, I'm Choma. <laughs> I'm Evelyn, my friends. What a unique name that befits your looks. <laughs> Alright, oh, thank you. See you some other times. Thank you, my friends. Okay. okay. Alright. <laughs> bye, my friends. Okay, bye, bye, my friends. Okay, bye bye my friends. You brought this upon yourself. You know that. I know, I know. That's why I want you to help me. My father listens to you a lot. Please, just, just help me talk to him, okay? Make him understand that I am sincerely sorry. I will never break the rule. I will forever remain grateful for how you can do this. It's all right, my princess. I'll talk to him. Cute, he's so handsome and very humble. Well, that's how a typical prince should be. Abile, don't tell me you're crushing on him already. <laughs> well, if I should lie to you, I'm not. Really. <laughs> well, you know your, your facial expressions while we were with him. <laughs> Showed it all. So you know, yet you asked. Oh, well, just so I could be sure. <laughs> oh, you're too quick. Oh, please leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ah. Really? Yunko, don't you like him? <laughs> I do like him. <laughs> Who wouldn't like a prince? <laughs> but don't show it that quick. <laughs> leave me alone. Leave me alone. You sent for me. Yes, I did. Sit down. I have given you an apology. It thought, and I have decided to forgive you. Are you serious? Thank you so much, Daddy. I love you. I love you. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you. But you must never leave this palace. Without a guard and a maid. That it is not a problem. I promise I would never ever do that. <laughs> and one more thing. <laughs> what? You must return to this palace before 5 30 p.m. Okay, Dad, thank you. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you so much that you're the best daddy in the whole wide world. You know that, right? <laughs> Give me a peck. <laughs> thank you. Yes! <laughs> I'm going to tell them I'm so excited! Oh my goodness! Oh my god! Father! Father, is what is it? Father! Father has forgiven me. That's good for her. Let her go and say no more. Mother, what do you mean by let her go and see me? What do you want me to say? <laughs> oh my gosh, she even went out with her dad and <clears throat> Yes, I saw her. I even reminded her of the royal coffee. Okay, I know, I know she would not, she would not dare try to misbehave again. I saw her. Mother, I'll be going inside and I'll be doing something. I'll tell you to do. What's that for? Oh, my princess, that's the, that's the latest club in town. Oh, 
What time does it function? It do open around 4.30 till dawn, Fridays and Sundays. Wow, sounds interesting. What's today? Today is Friday. Okay. Right, let's go. I love you so much. No wonder they said two heads are better than one. Two good heads. Will... Of course, two good heads. <laughs> Seriously, your idea yesterday worked like magic. My uncle was able to convince him. Hmm. Ah, the feeling was awesome yesterday when I left Paris. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much. You know you should give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar mm -hmm. and to God what belongs to God. Yeah, I know. So that means when it comes to your tradition, you should respect it. And when it comes to education, you can apply your knowledge. Sure. Yeah. And remember the coffee rule. Do not break it. Do not break it. Do not break it. Do not break, do it. Not break it. I know. <laughs> Cheers. Oh my god, seriously. You are the best. <laughs> Thank I you know. so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you see that Princess Liz is so so stubborn. She's coming, she's coming, she's coming. Okay. I'm going to drive with my princess. Don't worry, I won't be needing any of you, okay? Just give me the keys and leave my way. Oh, my Thank you. Oh, my leave my way, come on! Do you allow her to leave this palace all by herself? I tried stopping her, my queen, but she insisted on... Will you shut up? Fool! Are you insane? Listen, just pray to your God that she comes back here by six. If not, I'll skin you alive. I'm sorry, my queen. Shut up! Sorry, my Fool! Will you shut up? Idiot! Robin.
everyone is this one. Okay, check your time. Your sister is not yet back. Mommy, we have just 30 minutes left. Why? Why would she do such a thing? Why would she take such a risk? Has anyone called her? We have called her several times, but she cannot forget her calls. Okay, let me call her myself. Um, my car just broke down. I think I know this car. Yes. This car is from the palace. Are you a member of the royal family? Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm the second daughter of the king. My car just refused to start on my way home. There is a royal curfew. You're not supposed to be outside by this yes, time. Yes, I know. That's why I want to fix it. You know, I, I need to fix it right now. Do you know anybody around that can help me fix it? What is the problem? The ignition refused to start. Okay, I'm an electrician. I believe it's the key. Okay, okay, just, it's the key problem. Just... Okay, I can't even open it. Okay. Hold on. Let's hold on. Oh, thank God. Wait, let me get something. Because if it's the key problem, there is somewhere I can hit. Just, just, just do it. something, okay? I'll make sure you go and fix it. I do. Go and start it. Alright. Right. Start. Start. Start it. calamity on the royal family. Ha. See, immediately she asked us not to follow her. I knew she was up to something. My fear now is what the king will do to us. He will have your head for dinner, idiot. A simple task was assigned to you to do. You couldn't execute the task. Follow the princess wherever she goes. And you are standing here. Nasikas, nasikas. Oh, I'm talking and you're going in Kiru. A whole chief guard is talking. Mwa be merowa. Na overseer onyo bna na this palace. He's talking to you and you're going. Mr. Wadro, I will, I will, I will come to your chapter. Uh, you, don't worry. Eh? I worry no one Wait until the rule is broken. Hey, merowa, this is not your duty post. Go back to your duty post. He can one no. Okay. You are, you are still standing. Hey, na alo manya. Will I force myself to follow her? Follow her. Oh, okay. That is the instruction. Go. I don't, I, don't, I don't have anything to do with you now. You are still standing up here. I'm going to tell you. Hey, my brother. I'm going to tell you. Oh, oh, oh. Go. I'm going to tell you. 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 Ah, 
Princess, I'm still amazed. You know, you mean you fell in love with me at first sight? It's just a natural something. Mm -hmm. But I myself, I'm, I'm actually very surprised because it has never happened to me before. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Yes, go ahead. <laughs> Feel free. Okay. Do you love me? Oh, Gregor. The princess broke the number one rule of the royal coffee yesterday. Yeah. How do we appease the gods? Princess of our kingdom. Hmm. Can you Over Ovane dum. Let me consult the gods. Hey. Any earlier? Olinka. Okunne nyemne. Unuka na kolo. Hmm. One more fu. Unu fu anga no. Unu pi papa. The God said nothing to me, and I had no feeling or sign of any abomination committed last night. Did not reveal anything to you at all. Not at all. Go home. Let's wait on the gods. Hey! Hmm. Hey! possible that the gods did not reveal the abomination to him what kind of gods do we serve then are they blind that i can't tell your highness but maybe this abomination is beyond the gods how can the abomination beyond the gods we serve uh, i don't know your highness but i i think there is more to this so what do we do then? When our grandfather was alive, I heard him mention about one oracle of Ibangwara. I think that oracle has something in common with this palace. That may be the only person to tell us what we need to know. But then, you have to visit Ibangwara then, as soon as possible. Ah. Okay. Okay, Your Highness, I'll make inquiries and know more about that place. It's alright. It's alright. It wasn't my intention to break the boat. Then why did you do it? Why did you go to the club? Baby, no, the club starts by 4.30 p.m. So, my man was to be here before 6 p.m. Before I got carried away by the music DJ was playing. <laughs> you know how much I love partying and clubbing. How much you love partying and clubbing? Mm -hmm. Now you've committed a taboo. And nothing happened. What happened? Nothing. Don't you think we've been deceived all along? Why do you think so? 
because I've got good news of breaking the rules. Which is? <laughs> I fell in love with someone. <laughs> you know that guy that helped me fix my car? I think I love him. I actually love at first sight. Lizzie, are you being serious now? Mm hmm The guy is cute. You need to see him. <laughs> oh my god. We are talking about a taboo that is going to affect the whole kingdom. And here you are talking to me about falling in love with some stranger. <sighs> really? You don't get it, don't you? Gosh. Yes. <laughs> Come on! You are so well. I have made inquiries, Your Highness. I will be spending 21 days on the path to Ibangwara. Honestly, I wish I would be one embarking on this journey, and not you. You are not too strong, and I'm afraid this journey may affect your health. I'm fully recovered, Your Highness. I will be fine. You don't have to worry. <clears throat> My daughter is the one bringing this calamity upon us. <clears throat> I should be paying the price and not you. She is our daughter, your highness. You are the king. You can't be spending such a lengthy time outside the palace. Like I said, I will go to Ipangwara and I will come back healthy without problem. It's all right. Uh, the head guard will take you to where car cannot go further. I wish you safe journey. Thank you very much, Your Highness. Thank you. Tradition is tradition and can never be changed No one is under the law Now I'm back to monologue A bullish in the world Just in the yachty bell Why are you fighting the laws of the land? Matter when I live on your metal with this people who all on your call when they are gonna Tradition is tradition and can never be changed. No one is above the law. I want to be more than what a bullish in the world. Just in the yacht you fell. from the depth of my heart. Boy, he has chosen the princess over me. Is it because she's royalty and I'm not? Is it because she's from a rich family while I am poor? Just look at me. Am I not a woman? Am I not beautiful enough? Neka is okay. It's okay. All these things you said, it, it might not be the reason. Then what's the reason? In every situation we find ourselves, we have to give thanks to God. <laughs> the best is yet to come. 
Please. <laughs> Wipe your tears. <laughs> it's okay now. Stop crying. It's okay. It's okay. Stop now. I saw someone will see you. It's okay. Brother, are you sure you're doing the right thing? Bro, my heart beats for her. I cherish having her around me. What I feel for her, I have never felt for anyone else. And I know she's she's feeling the same way too. No, hmm. brother. It's not all about her, but her father. You know her father is strict and wicked. I strongly believe he will not give his consent to, to, to your union with his daughter. I love her. She loves me too. That is all that matters. I believe love could conquer. My brother, what about uh, 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 Neka? Do you want to live in Neka like that? Again, you and I strongly know that she loves you with her life. Bro, I have tried several times to, to, to love her back too, but it's so impossible. I feel her pain, but there's nothing I can do. But I think... Think wisely, but that is all I can tell you. You know you're my elder brother. It's better you think too that you won't make mistakes. Hey Barry, it still baffles me that the royal family could be this careless. <laughs> my dear, should the blame go to the entire royal family or to that stubborn princess Lizzie who broke the royal coffee rule? <laughs> The royal family shouldn't have let this happen. I mean, they were too careless to have let that girl out. What else were you expecting the king to do? He tried everything possible to prevent this from happening. But that girl wouldn't listen. What do you want him to do? Huh. You know, I hope this doesn't affect Prince Anoche. Yeah. See what you're worried of. Pray nothing happens to you and the entire kingdom. As for me, I'm scared already. Uh, bro, I thought you had a thing for this prince. Uh, how do. are you feeling? I'm concerned. This is a serious matter, my dear. Please, just hurry up before my mom comes back. But so we need to why are you so concerned? I thought I was the only one. You asked me you asked me if I liked him before. And I said yes, nobody wouldn't. So I'm just concerned. Hey. Nothing more. Suddenly. At least I'm not crushing after him like you're doing. Suddenly. Lizzie. You finally achieved your aims. I guess you're happy now, right? Please, Adaisy, I'm having a good day. Do not spoil it. Please. I really don't blame you. Seriously, I don't blame you in any way. You've succeeded in putting the whole family, the entire family, in worries and confusion. And you're here having a good day. Like, seriously. I thought you were wiser than this. Seriously, I actually thought you were wiser than this. Okay, let me ask you something. Were we not told that once someone breaks the rule, a serious calamity will flood the kingdom. Hmm? It's over five days since I did. What has happened? Nothing. Can't you see that we've been fooled for too long? It's very obvious. No. No. But we are quiet for now. But certainly not forever. This is more is aware of uh, the royal court that has been existing for decades now. Maybe it's also a mystery to the gods. Yes. Um, my king. If there is something attached to the violation of this rule, yet it is a mystery to the gods, then who will interpret it? Or are we going to leave in this fear forever? <laughs> no, no, no. That's why my brother has decided to embark on that long journey to meet who he believes they have answered to this our numerous questions. And who is that? Hearts shall be hard, hearts shall be hard, hearts shall be hard.
And who is the right one? The rightful man The rightful man The rightful man is the eyes that will share tears. When the head of his blood is off. You said, the spirit said, the hearts shall be hot, heard shall rule. Tears shed, but at last, joy shall wipe away the tears. This is a man. When the rightful man is seated on the throne of our kingdom. This is a man. And I've had similar dreams on several occasions. Mm. Omo <sighs> Boagalega. Omo Boagalega. Boagalega wala na mwa. We won't want to go. Oh, close your day. Hmm. Hey. No, no. Hmm. Fear not, my son. For I have seen the Bemilis Bow of your bubble. Hmm. Go home. Fear not. Worry not about the dream. <laughs> Worry not about the dream. Thank you, Zuma. Hmm. Maybe in no distant time. It shall become a taboo for you to step in into the shrine of our kingdom. <laughs> Go home, my son. Go home and worry not. Hey! Hmm. <laughs> I'll give you one quick and neck. Oh, go see there. Please, I want you to convey my sincere apology to your father. Tell him I'm deeply sorry that the marriage can no longer hold in 10 days' time as planned. Why, Your Highness? See, <clears throat> there is an existing problem in the palace, and I need to solve that problem. For giving any of my daughter out in marriage, uh, so as not to attract more calamities to myself. Honestly, Your Highness, I, I am so disappointed. But there's nothing I can do about it. Please, my son, bear with me. I, I also inform your father 
that I will personally come and explain things to him so that he can understand. Okay? It's alright. Baby, there is something bothering me. What's that? Do you think your father will give his consent to our union? He has no option than to do that. If he fails to marry me to you, then I'll be forced to leave the palace and come stay here. Seriously. Don't worry. I love you. I love you too, baby. <laughs> Excitement all about. Amaka, mm -hmm. God has punished my enemies for me. Hmm? Okay, now let me now tell you the story. Hmm? You know, you know, waste time to come and tell me I've had the prince wanted to marry the so called princess Adeze. Hmm? Because you know, it make me sad. But you still came to me, Amaka, your friend. When you know that I will not be happy about it, you came and told me, Ego. Okay now, I won't even waste your time. Hmm? I won't waste your time because Ego is here for a good news. The king has refused the prince from marrying the princess. <laughs> so that has given me an opportunity to shoot my shot. Yes, yeah, so I will chase my dream man. <laughs> hey! Ego, yeah? Let me tell you the real truth. The Igwe never withdrew his endorsement for their relationship. Ha! The marriage is just being old. Just for the king to settle the current issue in this kingdom. Eh? Mrs. Dreamer. Is you that keep know, dreaming. Uh, you, you know where you're getting your own dream. information from. See, whatever, whatever. My own is I am getting my dream man. Hmm? Don't even know if you're a friend or whatever. You are the idiot my daughter has been saying. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. But I've done nothing wrong. I love your daughter. Will you shut up? Now listen to me and listen carefully. I did not want to see you anywhere around my daughter again in all your miserable life. If I do, you will have yourself to blame. And for looking like me directly at the face. And telling me you love my daughter, the princess of our kingdom. I will give you something to remember. Guys! Go and give him 50 strokes of cane. Now! Take him away! Nonsense. Look at it. Riff raff. father is not saying that he will not marry you. What your father said was that he should wait for a little time so that this whole issue will be solved. Mother, what about 
<laughs> if he changes his mind, why wait? Him? He will not change his mind. <laughs> if he does, that means he is not the right man for you. Okay? No man, no man. I want to receive it. Going to carry in the bag. I don't want to walk again. I chose the mirror. I want to go back to my house. Why? Did anyone offend you here? It's a personal decision. You've been a wonderful person, but I have to leave, okay? Naka, wait, wait. Naka, wait and explain to me now. Naka. Problem. Why? Now leave my present now. Leave it! Not again. of our kingdom. Welcome to the abode of the greatest oracle of Ipangwara. Thank you, greatest oracle of Ipangwara, for making my journey brief. Sit, for the covenant has been broken. The royal coffee has been broken. That is why I am here, great oracle. What do we have to do? It's already too late. It could have been avoided. But no one has died yet. And no calamity has befallen the kingdom. Something can be done to get it unattered. The damage has been done already. Just that it is still invisible in the eyes of the mortal. The covenant and agreement this shrine had with Igwe Onyekwere has been defied. And there's nothing I or anyone can do. Destiny, oh destiny, destiny. Akala Kamjine Biowa. Destiny. Destiny can never be changed. Destiny. Greetings, Your Highness. Keep your greetings to yourself. You abducted my daughter. Where is she? Your Highness, I did not adopt your daughter. Just that the bond of our love is so strong and cannot be broken. You know you have tried so hard. Just let us be. Please, shut up your mouth. How dare you talk to me like that? You dare look at my face. I, you go to see the face. I utter those nonsense. Are you out of your mind? Oh! Oh! Oh, 
Family was never chosen by the gods decades ago to rule our kingdom when it gained autonomy. I manipulated them after the sacrifice Onyekwere offered. An instruction was given to him. The instruction was that every royal family living in the palace must be in the palace on or before 6.30 p.m. Any day this rule is broken. He shall lose the throne to another family. And that was how the royal curfew was invented. Being a wise man, he made it popular and even informed the chief priest, then passed it on to his predecessors. And it had been passed from generation to generation, with many not knowing its origin. Now I understand this better. But it is broken. Great Oracle, how do we fix this? A broken mirror has no repair. They were still holding onto the throne. We can as well keep it. Lie! Oko still lost the throne the very day Princess Elizabeth broke the rule. How? If she wasn't outside by that time, she wouldn't have seen a nobody whom she fell in love with, whom your king murdered. Stop crying. Stop crying. Please. I understand how you feel. But you just need to stop. No amount of tears is going to bring him back. Please. Stop crying. Why? Why? Why would you die and live in where he knows I cannot live with you? <laughs> You can. Mm. It was written, and there is no way you could have changed it. All these are men to clear the road to your destiny. The heart. Hearts. The head down. All these your tears are stepping stone to your feet. Cry no more. You were even when uh, the first of our kingdom. Hmm. Onyekwere was told decades ago that once the gods of our kingdom wakes, they can never be trapped again. 
Chai. So the princess brought this upon us. It could have been avoided. But the king chose to risk it. After it was broken, the gods wrote a script that everyone was acting all along. The tears are all contained in the script written by the gods for the rightful king to emerge. There's nothing anyone could have done to avoid the wrong decision made after that night. Hmm, Oko Sisi. Obliga, why are you addressing me by my name? Because you have lost the kinship of our kingdom. You committed a sacrilege. Email Alo. It is stipulated clearly that a murderer can never be seated on the throne of our kingdom. It was not intentional. But it was committed. You did it. Because you see, you have to step down for a new king to emerge the throne of our kingdom. If you want the son of late Mase, the Luka, who you murdered his brother, has been chosen by God to hold on to the mantle of leadership of this great kingdom. Never! Hmm. Then get ready to face the dance of the spirit. Get ready. We can never be trapped again by the three demons who rested the traditional stone here. The gods of our kingdom has woken up. Mm, do not say, I never warned you. Mm. Mm. Hey! Oh, my God. Hey! Hey! Mm. Mm. Destiny, oh destiny, destiny. I can lock and chill if you are. Destiny, destiny can never be changed. Destiny, it can only delay what must come to pass. Destiny, if only I have a way I go, I have a destiny. If I have a way. No, tell me, are you happy? You see what your stupidity has cost the entire royal household. We're not going to live like nobody and everyone will walk us along the street. I feel like, I feel like struggling with my bare hands. You're very stupid. You're an idiot. You're a big fool. I mean, your father that killed an innocent man. I have nothing to tell you now. Just wait till you are being thrown out from this palace. You will see what I will do to you. Just get out! Get out! Leave, just leave me alone! Leave me alone! I am tired! Get out from here! Get out! 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 I'm tired! I'm sick and tired! I'm sick and tired! But I'm losing my mind right now! I don't feel like leaving anymore. Of course, it's so, so much pain. I'm sick and tired. Seriously, I just want to die right now. I just want to die. Look at me losing my mind. Do not blame yourself, my brother. The very day that royal coffee was broken was the same day you lost the throne. Every other thing after then was meant to be. It was a part the gods choose to achieve their aim. So what do we do now? Nothing. Nothing can be done by anybody. You just have to step down. No. I can never live with the humiliation of being dethroned when I'm still alive. I can never step down for anybody. No. You can live with the pride that you once ruled this great kingdom, my brother. Never over my dead body. I won't do it. 
Igwe, oh no. Obey the gods. Never. I will never do that. Over my dead body. Well, we have cabinet meeting today. And we don't want you present. Uh, in seven days' time, you must forget this palace. Why are you talking like this? I thought you were my friend. I thought we were in this together. Yes, I am your friend. Manano Bajoso, Abanya Jebo. Oh, come on, but they will teach you. Igwe, in a matter like this, there is nothing I can do. The rightful king must emerge. Igwe, <coughs> take my advice. Obey the gods for the sake of your life. Ijijina no river, near Sopozo and a name. Macano Palopocobulo, a more of one cheer, Yamabulo. Hello, oh no, where are you going? Oh no, are you leaving me? Confided on me as the Onohu and the Akane Meze of our kingdom. Today, I crown you the Eze Igwe one of our kingdom. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, why? The queen, the queen herself. We go malu moja man. Everybody me agu agu. Eno no moja ano. Yeah. Why important to keep your man? Yeah. If I put a jamat, I see pull on my man. 
Also by the power confined on me as your know who of a working dog. I am humbled. Confined on you, the queen of a working dog. Need one. So that I may chat. We've been there working down. I want Gwen! Yeah! Gwen! Yeah! Gwen! Yeah! Gwen! Yeah! Gwen! Yeah! You got working. Hey! Hey! I'm going to have a little bit of a I'm going to have a little bit of 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 Hello, no, 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 can only delay what must come to pass. Destiny. If only I have a quiet call, I have a destiny. If I saw lost in my bed, I am a destiny. The will of the gods must be done no matter what. Destiny. Hey, destiny can never be changed. Destiny. Somebody must fall for somebody to rise up. Destiny. I say I so so we better know. Destiny. If I tell it, then I take away and I will long for that one. Destiny can never be changed. Destiny. Destiny, oh destiny. Destiny. Yeah. I can't like I'm chilly, beautiful. Destiny, destiny can never be changed. Destiny, it can only delay what must come to pass. Destiny, if only I have a quiet call, I have no destiny. If I saw lost in my bed, I am no destiny. Love the gods must be done no matter what. Destiny, hey, destiny can never be changed. Destiny, somebody must fall for somebody to rise up. Destiny, I say I forget so.